Good morning, mighty men. In this video, Dick Simmons, the founder of Men for Nations, explains the importance of holiness in getting answers to prayer. There's a passage in, uh, in Romans, Romans 12, and it says, Therefore, uh, I urge you, brethren, in view of God's mercies, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God, holy and pleasing to God, which is your spiritual worship, or another translation says reasonable worship. Don't be conformed any longer to the pattern of the world, mm. but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, what his good and pleasing and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now, if we're really going to walk in the good and acceptable will of God, but better yet, even his perfect will, we've got to have our minds and our hearts conform hmm. to him. We have to have our mind renewed in, the, in his image and uh, after his holiness. In order to have this, all we have to do is believe God for it. And there in First Timothy, uh, the it says, the first, second chapter, it says, um, first of all, it says, this is pleasing to God, and, and it says that we're to pray for all men ever, especially for those in authority, that we might live peaceful, quiet lives. And then at the end of that paragraph, he, Paul says, I urge men to lift holy hands hmm. without murmuring, without complaining, uh, and uh, basically he's saying if we're, we're going to live peaceful, quiet lives in our land, then we have to become holy as he is holy. We have to, we have, to have holy hands that we can lift up in prayer. Uh, so holiness is a requirement for effectual prayer that will enable us to lift our the men of authority and, and hold them up in their responsibilities and enable them to make good decisions. If we're going to have that type of access and authority in prayer, then we ourselves have to become holy. Lord, make us holy as you are holy. Our Bible reading today is John chapters 5 and 6. 5 verse 5 says, One man was there who had been an invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been there a long time, he said to him, do you want to be healed? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred, and while I am going, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Get up, take up your bed, and walk. And at once the man was healed, and he took up his bed and walked. Verse 14, Afterward Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you are well, sin no more, that nothing worse may happen to you. Chapter 6, verse 51, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. Let's pray. Jesus, we praise you for the power of healing in your name. Lord, you said that we would do the work that you did and even greater works. And we're asking today for those greater works. Lord, we ask not only for signs and wonders to follow us, Lord, but for lost souls to be found and to walk in your ways. You told the healed man to, to sin no more, that nothing worse would happen to him. Empower us and those who come to know you through us to walk in your holy ways and avoid the snares and fall out of sin. We want to eat that bread, the daily bread, your bread of life, and live forever. We praise you, Jesus, for making a way.